What's going on everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the Tuck or Took MC mod. Uh, not really sh quite too sure how that's pronounced, but anyways, what this mod will do is it will make your HUD a lot better within Minecraft. Um, I believe the slogan for this is the sleekest HUD in Minecraft or something like that. I will show it to you later. But let's go ahead and hop my world here, and I will show you what the new HUD looks like. Um, yeah. Another thing I want to point out is the last time I did a HUD, HUD, however you pronounce it, mod, people were flipping out because I pronounced it wrong. So I think it's pronounced HUD. I don't know. Anyways, this is the new HUD. You can see it does look very, very nice. This is a HUD that I could get used to using. So you can see at the top there is a compass, so you don't have to carry that in your inventory, and a clock, another thing you do not have to carry in your inventory. You can see that it shows you what biome you're in, what time it is. It is 9.35 p.m. where I am at, and your inventory, I'm um, not quite too sure what that has to do. Um, I think that's how many slots you have left in your inventory. Or something. No, I'm probably wrong. Not quite too sure what that has to do with it. Um, and you can see on the bottom left corner it says online one. I am X Aliens. That's my username. So that's who's in my world right now. Me, of course. And you can see if I go ahead and sprint, it'll say sprinting. And if I uh, fly, it will say flying. I'll show you that later. And you have your item bar down here. Looks a lot different. Looks more uh, high tech, I guess you could say. You can see how many hits you have left with a weapon. So I have 1,562 hits left with this diamond sword. And you can see if an item is enchanted, it has this nice little enchantment um, animation over the item slot. And then we have the food here. And when you hover over food, you can see in your health it says it will heal 8 and it will waste 4. Um... It depends on how much uh, health or hunger you actually need to replenish. So I only need to replenish four. Um, why am I losing thought on my words here? I only need to replenish four hunger bars, and this will replenish eight. So I'll be wasting four hunger bars, is what that's telling me. So that is a very nice feature. That's probably one of the best features about it. And then um, you can also see that. Um, I have 5 out of 17 until I get to level 8 in my experience points, and my health is at 20. Uh, you can also see in the bottom right corner, it has my frames per second. I am running at 220, roughly average. Oh, now it's dropping That I, now that I said that. But you can see it does show your frames per second. So now I'm going to go ahead and change into creative mode. So there you go. It says your mode has been updated. So we're in the extreme hills biome. So as I said before, it will say that I'm flying. You can see that I'm flying now. So now that I'm in the extreme hills biome, and if we come over here, it'll switch to saying Taiga Edge, like when you're at the edge of the biome. Uh, let's see if I can get it to do it. All right, see extreme hills edge, and then it'll switch over to extreme hills. And then we go into the Taiga biome. And if I just keep on flying over here, eventually we'll get to the plains biome. Uh, we have Taiga Hills. So that's another very cool feature is that it tells you exactly what type of biome you're in. So this HUD is very, very feature rich. So there you go. Now we are in the plains. So I can honestly see myself using this HUD more often or just using this instead of the default one. Simply because there's a lot of very good features that this HUD does add and that are very useful. For example, the food, it tells you how much you'll be wasting, if any at all, and how much um, hunger points it will be restoring. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Tuck or Took MC HUD mod. So I now need to clear up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program. Some examples would be WinRAR 7-Zipper WinZip, 
but pretty much all archiving programs will work the same exact way so you can use whatever you prefer however I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial you will then need to download Minecraft Forge and the Tuck mod itself so to get these two files I'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description so first off for the Tuck MC mod you can see it does say the slickest looking hood you'll see for a while um, and I do agree with that but we want to go ahead and just scroll down till we see the download click on preferred download and it'll take us to an ad fly that'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner after that five seconds is up a yellow button saying skip ad will appear once you click on skip ad it will automatically download the mod so that is how to download the tuck mc mod now for minecraft forge if we go ahead and come over to the main forge download and scroll down until we see the download section right here you can either download it from adfly or direct whatever you prefer to do keep in mind downloading it from adfly will help support the mod creator now you do need to download the recommended version simply because this is the most stable version of minecraft forge to date and you will want to download the universal version not the source so that is how to download everything you will need to successfully install this mod so when you're ready to install the mod go ahead and come over to start then type in percent app data percent go ahead and open up your roaming then open your dot minecraft open your bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinRAR so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR now we will be coming back to the bin later on in the tutorial so go ahead and minimize that for now do not close it so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up minecraft forge and you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold Control, then hit A. And that will highlight everything and simply drag it into your Minecraft jar. Go ahead and hit OK. Now close down Minecraft Forge. Now you will have a folder in your Minecraft jar called MetaInf. You will want to delete this folder, so go ahead and right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. Now you want to make sure you are always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it will cause Minecraft to crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close down your Minecraft jar. And you should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back, so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder. So if you don't have one already, you will need to create one. And to do that, you want to simply right click within the .minecraft folder. Go down to New, and then select Folder. This will of course create a new folder that you want to rename mods. So simply type in MODS and that'll rename the folder to mods, no capitalizations. So once you have your mods folder, go ahead and open that up and simply take the tuckmc mod zip file and go ahead and drag that into the mods folder. Now you go ahead and close down the mods folder and that's it, you're done installing the mod. So please leave a comment down below for suggestions on mods for future mod tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.